Yo, yo, what's up, homie, Riris? How you guys doing? Um, I'm making a video. It's really late. And... But I have this thing that I'm saying that if I'm going to make a video, I'm going to make it. So... I just can't be too loud. But... Uh, so in this video, uh, what we're going to talk about is LMPX. And... Basically, I took a I took a good fifteen to twenty RR loss, and and I'm just gonna go through my mindset, what I went through, a little bit of how I recap. This will be the first time that I'm recapping. I've been going through a tough time this week, uh, some life stuff, but uh, hopefully, it should be informative. And fun a bit boring but hopefully a lot more helpful than boring so let me know I always answer questions at the anytime I post within an hour or so uh, if there's anything in the comments and if I can answer it I'll be happy to answer it okay so let's get started um, I am going to to start so it's going to be really messy so this is what I had from my execution at the start but I think I want to start with the first short yeah <clears throat> so it's really weird I didn't have the opportunity to take uh, to take the, the screenshot at the end of the day so I ignored it in the morning I've been keeping an eye on this ticker for the past few days and it's just been constantly going up I think from like five dollars all the way to forty five dollars so it's gonna have a pullback and this is literally my first short day on it and uh, I was surprised I was like oh first entry so in the room I was telling the guys only super parabolic moves um, I'll be interested so this is the first short I took. So I'm doing this hopefully for my benefit as well. So it's gonna maybe take me long, longer than normal to process, um, to process this. So you guys gotta bear with me. So this is what it was. So I took a short around here. This is my first short and the guys I think I was on voice or on, I was talking to the guys, uh, and as weird as it sounds, I actually really wanted to, I wanted to go long unless this thing broke. And I was telling the guys 28, I think I had an order to cover at, cover all or a decent chunk at 28. So the low here is... You can see the low 28.988. I think I had an order to cover some at 28.61. But I covered some here. And then I had another order to cover somewhere down here. I didn't miss that. So this was good. It was a it was a lucky entry. People are gonna ask, oh, how did you know? Blah blah blah. It's 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 almost guessing. You have to put your um, money at risk but you have to put a small substantial amount so it was probably it was a small it was on the smaller end by the way I had reduced my share size on this because I knew it was super super volatile um, so I actually wanted to not only cover down here but I wanted to go long and yeah, so this is this is the first mistake that I had. So this chart here is all of the short positions. Um, but ideally, this would have been an amazing long setup. So note to myself, previous resistance became support. And these are not rules. Always, I always try to understand, and you guys should understand as well, that um, understand the behavior. I'm a very strong advocate for behavior. So all the shorts that are bent here, they're going to be like, thank God, 
it's close to break even. This is my risk level. Let get me the heck out. So shorts are stuck. They're bent here. One nine dollars. So this and this would have been a good long entry in hindsight. Uh, but definitely this was my thought process, and I did want to long it, and I said it in the group, but. Uh, the brain doesn't always follow. <laughs> uh, so what happened here is, and I started nibbling back short, I think. So I waited until it stuffed, I think. It went above here and it looked weak and I shorted it down here. And yeah, so I shorted it here, here. And then I waited above, and when it came back, I showed it here. And I felt very uncomfortable, so I covered most of it down here. Um, okay. Is... I'm also reading my execution, that's why I'm a bit slow. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to rush the video just because it's getting late. I could get sleep, so I should sleep, but uh, anyway. So that's what happened. I think I covered a decent portion here, probably more than half, uh, two thirds or something. And then I said, you know what? I'm not going to let it test the high of the day, and I had to stop here. And stupid TZ, typical, mm, they, it was a stop market order, and I think my stop was 35.66, and cool, they gave me a slippage of whatever. I know the dickhead sell it to high frequency traders or the order flow is sold basically so it gave me quite a, it's not a issue it's the size was really really small um, and I was okay with it but it just bugs me that that's what happened so it washes and come back down I put the short back on and now my risk is I believe I put another hard stop. So one of the other things that I wanted to discuss with myself, with my newbie brain, was whether I should utilize hard stops or not. Because these things have a really big spread. It was a dollar spread. So this was a, a hard stop mistake. So when I say hard stop, my this is my weakness. I, I have to use hard stop the way my trading is so it doesn't mean that I'm just gonna talk for things to the for myself I don't want to mamble on switch from educational to perspective so I have to use hard stop because that's my weakness I so the way I do it is I use half size hard stop sometimes I use full size so at this point here, I had used full size hard stop. I believe. Okay. So I shorted here because of the rejection. I shorted again. And in here, my size was one R risk if it hit here. And then I added a bit more. And then, yeah, I think it pushed here stuff. I added a bit more and I stopped out here, thankfully. Now, at this point here, when it pushed above and the wick happened, I this is when I actually got more share size down here. Um, what I saw in the tape, is this a mistake? I mean, Okay, for, uh, let's talk to myself. Let's be a weirdo. By the way, when I recap, I do 
the goods, the bads, and then I grade myself. And maybe I'll do that if this video is not hell long. Um, okay. So, clearly I want it to be long here. So, I don't know. I think, I think this is a mistake. Yeah. This here is a mistake. As a matter of fact, all of this is a mistake. This is all a mistake because the time of the day was 11. And if we understand how manipulators work, um, it's not the correct time. The timing is not correct. So this, this is a mistake. Originally when I came in thinking, because I was thinking the whole weekend about it. I don't care about the laws, but um, how do I get better? at uh, the thought process the correction yeah this is a mistake for sure well not a super super bad one it's uh i think the time of the day and um, i don't know man it's kind of tough because it can't be hindsight guru the stock came from like ten dollars or something, twenty dollars, and it went to forty, forty-five. Clearly, overextended. The daily is like, yeah. The daily is from four dollars to forty-five dollars. Uh, def definitely should have been long here. Oh, by the way, I have another chart for long entries. I did attempt longs down here, but. So yeah, so note to self, I shouldn't be longing things above rewap, above 10.45, something like that. I am, um, okay, so this is wrong. I didn't know that, so this is a cool nugget for me. I have to register it in my newbie head. Okay, uh, it's not bad, but it's definitely needed to be long here and I've said it so here what I saw here if we could go back and focus I saw all these wicks and what I did is I increased my share size to twice as much it was very small um, and my risk was a soft stop above this as you can see, so I shorted a little, shorted a little. This is all like one fifth, one eighth, um, especially because it came and it like didn't support here, it broke down, did, and then it was topping. Um, I think, I think I cut a half. So what I was using here is the executions are so annoying to see this is yeah yeah so these are the short entries for some of them but this is the all of the short so here i was shorting and i if i didn't have a heart of course this is slippage typical trade zero dickheads so I was shorting a small size. I had gotten more shares, but I had a hard stop and it was above the high of this wick. Which wick was it? Second wick. Yeah, so it was above high of, it was above, yeah, it was above high of this wick. I think it might've been 43 and got 43 yeah it might have been 43.20 and then it got slipped hmm. so if it wasn't a full hard stop it I think I gotta use half hard stop with these bigger spready games because for sure market makers they hit that um, so I reshorted back in uh, yeah, so I covered some here. This was a half hard stop, 
half heart stop and uh, yeah I think it was half heart stop and then I reshorted 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 these are all small sizes uh, probably one fifth at a time and then I covered a little because I believe this was break even yep I don't remember what the heck it was but I saw something on tape I never do that I never ever I try not to do random covers it's always a break even or it's my risk because you don't want to involve your head you don't want to involve your emotions so I reshorted here at these area and now I had actually gotten full size here I, I yeah so I got a full size here I'm trying to think which one was it this one yeah perfect so when I saw this push above and wicked I was like okay this is it so I hit my entry in two hits this is another thing that I was thinking about discussing with myself is how do I know how do I increase my performance should it be multiple entries one two entries and this is something that I've always thought what the right approach is and in this case I think I made the correct decision where I got in at two entries so yeah I shorted this is what I was thinking yeah I shorted shorted and then I took some at the break even and then I reshort yeah this is what I was going on so now that I've seen that it's the top I increased so usually I use five to six entries to enter so this is a note for myself yo make a good freaking note of this if it's an iffy situation and then you can use multiple entries which is beneficial but if you feel it's the top use less entries if your risk is defined so here this is what I'm kind of proud of by the way this is all this is a green trade this is a lost um, probably a 1 hour 1.5 hour uh, this is a break even trade this here so this here is a break even trade um, and then this here this here because I was using a bit more size I think this is what I scaled in yeah like I got more shares and then I was using two entries to stop so this is break even stop I was like okay content two entries go and then I was using this as a stop and for whatever reason I used a full heart stop and the market maker hit it stopped me out and then I washed so hmm I think I might have been a bit chopped up psychologically in hindsight my risk should have been here and I'm trying to think out loud so this is a 4340 average and the risk would have been 4340 uh, yeah 4340 the risk here would have been 70 cents and I think I wasn't as weird as it sounds I wasn't comfortable with the 70 cent risk so this is why my risk was above here and then above here I think yeah a few cents above this it was somewhere here yeah yeah, I think I used 48.81 as a risk. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what do we think about that? I don't mind that risk because I'm using more size. I want to be very tight with it. Obviously, the play. The play says the spread is too high. You, you're gonna get stopped out multiple times, and I was okay with that. And I verbalized my thought: it's okay to stop out ten times. 
but this would have been for like 0.25R, like a small amount. Um, and that matches my personality, kind of. Like, I don't mind taking a lot of, and I learned that from Ozark. I don't mind stopping out. But I think I, obviously I could have used better stops. No, I, I know, the size that I was using, like, may have been a bit too much, I guess, for my comfort. But I was not okay with 44. Because if this thing went above 44, that's the other thing. So 70 cent stop. And if it had gone above, this would have squeezed the heck out. Like, it wouldn't just have been, like, 44 or 44 or 2. It would have, like, skipped a dollar or two dollars. So that's another reason why I'm okay with having a tighter stop here. Because there would be people that would get out. So, yeah, I think I'm okay with that stop. The improvement needs to be, as it should have been here, is to use a half size hard stop. So these dickheads and this cheesed the F out of me. Cheesed. So this was the model. And it... It triggers me thinking about it. It shouldn't. <laughs> uh, but it does. Um, yeah. Um... I was, the one thing I hate, 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 is knowing how the stock will act. And it acts that way and I don't perform. I don't, I don't capitalize on it. And it really pisses me off. So here, uh, I guess 43, 40 average and I had a, 35 40 cent stop completely cool with it improvement would have been to use half hard stop but I use a full size hard stop and then it washes ten dollars so 30 35 cent risk and then ten dollar reward and uh, so far even up here the two are I don't know what the heck this was. This was a 2R, 3R loss. Um, I 1.5, 2R. I think... So this is a profitable trade. Uh, yeah, this, this here is a profitable trade, I believe. This was for small size. This here is a 1, 1.5R. This is a 1, 2R. I don't mind these kind of stuff. But here... It really, really pisses me off, but uh, but yeah, this would have been technically twenty, thirty R when um, and my trades are like that often too, so I just have to be okay that I missed it, and you'll see why this triggers the hell out of me. <laughs> really really triggers the f living crap out of me pisses me off uh, so this would have made everything back and I would have been like 10 20 yards so then the weave up was here and it washed so what I did so let's talk about one of the other good things so I make just notes of this like I write down by the way if it's stuff like this I'm like I go to 12 and I write, write yellow usually I'm like good uh, we'll do black here because it's so good XYZ this is what I did good another XYZ so the good is here even though this sucked I'm glad I had a hard stop it should have been half size but so the good I would write I had a hard stop and the good here is I had a hard stop so hard stops for me is good because it's my weakness I nibbled in slowly that's good and I would write the good what it needs to be improved upon I'm doing this verbally, but usually I write it out. Um, so the improvement would have been, man, use a hard, half size hard stop. Don't use a full size hard stop. Um, and one of the other good things that I like here is, you know what? While I was very super duper 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 triggered, I didn't chase. And the chase would have worked. You know, the chase would have worked. But it's not me. It's not my style. I try not to. Unless it's like a consolidation breakdown. Unless this this had broken down I would have been okay I would have been okay with shorting it 
Oh, my brush is not working. Great. Okay, whatever. I guess it's left up. So I didn't chase it. I didn't reshort it. This was a full size hard stop. 30 cent, 35 cent, 40 cent risk. A $10 reward is what it would have given. From a 43 to 33, $10 reward. I may have caught it here. I know I would have covered some here. So I didn't chase it. I actually walked away because I knew I was pissed off. To do this consistently, to fight against, I try not to, but to fight against a trend or to fight something that looks like stuffy and you're building a position and due to my conviction, I increased my size, my share size, I bored more because I knew this would happen and it happens and I missed the boat without it. It fucking hurts. It stings. But I walked out, I said, no, forget it, it's not worth it. Um, and then I was just very calm, cool, collected. Um, and I was like, well, then I was seeing wicks here again on the tape. I was seeing a buyer. So this is the other thing. <laughs> so, oh, I just... I must reduce my emotions. I must reduce my emotions. So this here is another trade that could have ended in a 50 RR, but instead I took a break even. Good thing is I took a break even for a large portion, but this is the trade that I took a big loss on. All the other trades I'm probably like negative four, 4.5 R, and that's cool. Like. Usually, uh, uh, a lot of bad things happen actually here. Okay, so let's go here. So here, I add it, I saw the wick, pull back. I'm like, okay, this is a lower high. My risk is about below here. And I'm gonna s put it below a uh, soft stop. So I think my average here was 35 something, 35 for the first entry. And then my risk was this here 33 this was for about half an hour and then I made it one R as it pushed down here and it reclaimed and I think I must have added at 30 I think 3390 let me check this 1 p.m. Mm, I'm checking at another Okay, I added at 34. Yep, I added at 34.04. So now I have a 1R and I would say a dollar twenty risk. And my thought process here is, I was telling you guys, if this reclaims above here, 38.50, 38 plus, if it bases above, we are more than likely to test high of the day. So I don't try to add here because this is going to mess up. This is a resistance. Um, I don't take profits. I thought about taking profits. So note to myself, I thought about taking profits. So we have a dollar twenty-five risk, and then it goes like five dollars, right? Thirty-four, thirty-eight, four dollars, four dollars and thirty cents in. Uh, but the intent here, I never try to take profits. Oh, you're 4 RRN. I, I talk about this shit just because it's easier to communicate rather than the dollar value because dollar value doesn't mean anything. But I never try to take profit um, because I'm up a lot. So if I had taken, if I had taken it off here, I would have been a break-even trade. But my intent, my thought process was I want to size in. I want to size in on the pullback. And then what I did is ideally I wanted to come back here, support, and then go. So each time 
so he, uh, this would have been a break even, would have covered all of my losses, I think, up to here. It would have been a positive because this was a green trade. This here was probably negative 4, negative 5R. Negative 4, negative 5R loss. This was like plus 2 or something, I don't know. So the point here is the thought process, which I was wrong about, but I don't regret the, the how I played it, is if I had taken a profit here and I would have added, it would have messed up my average. And I really think what I did here was correct and I'll probably redo it multiple times. Um, but I would have walked away from us because I was a bit emotionally triggered. Um, so what I did here is I have a 34, 34.20 average or something, I'm guessing. And on the pullback, I wanted to double, triple up. Not double. Each time it pulled, I think I doubled up. So here it pulled. I think I added the same size. And here I tripled up. So my set, my size was like 5x. 5x here. And... Because this one here, so if this was a 1R, and then here I added whatever share size I had, I added double that here, and then here I doubled the whole thing. And this entire time I had a break even stop. So, whatever my break even is, I learned this from Ozark Trades, I utilize the low of that resistance. So, I think my, my average must have been 36. What the heck? Oh wow, this is scary. That usually doesn't happen. Okay. So I had a hard stop somewhere here because my average. So I am really heavy size. Like at this point, I'm uncomfortable size, but I am able to get to the size because I have a good average. I didn't take profit. And then my thought process is. I'm going to take profit near the high of the day or above the high of the day squeeze. It's either going to stuff or it's going to go to 50. And then it could go... Just in my head, yeah, that, that was like definitely possible. So then what happens is I do the same thing. This is hindsight. Um, above here, yeah. So then it pushes above the high of the day. And then I add more here. How much did I add? Uh, I think there's the same. I didn't double up here. I added whatever I had here. Risk. The share size. And here, my average was actually this. I had gotten way too big. Uncomfortable. So, was it? Three PM size. So, it must have stopped out here. So I guess I, I think I had a 39 here. Yeah. So I've been adding, adding, adding. I was probably 10x. So if this had broken 50, 44, and gone higher, not even 10. I think my size would have been like, that's probably like 12x. And that's the part that I kind of like, I enjoy. So this would have been 12x size. And I was able to do that because I didn't take profits. I had a long-term plan on this but at the same time the key to this because I've bitten hit so hard is you have to have a break even stop or trim it right below so what I did here <coughs> I remember my size was very uncomfortable like I can only see my total share size my average I hide my PL and I think my average was 3966 because I kept adding adding added here added here Double, tripled up here, added more here, and I was so one correction that I should have done, and I like these two ads, and I like that I didn't add here is uh, add into the pullbacks if it looks like it's gonna base. This here was not so bad, but whatever. My average was so up, I was like, I don't care. So my average was thirty nine sixty two. I remember that specifically. And uh, like the noob, or and then I used 39.42 to stop out 
four fifth because of the size. Um, probably more, probably like eight tenth, eight tenth of it because that was way too heavy. And typical trade zero gave me a little bit of slippage, which is not bad. It's like this was a this was a red trade, but this was a, for me. It's a really good trade, even though I lost money here. It's a really really good trade. This trade here is a dickhead trade. Dickhead. Dickhead trade. Okay, so I cut like 8 tenths here. No regrets. I would play this again and again and again. And if this had worked out, this would have been the first time I was pushing the boundaries. This would have been the first time that I would have been up like probably 50, 60 RR. It would have been, it would have been crazy. And that's okay. I loved everything here. So then I just stopped me out. I didn't regret it, but it was wicking. So I bought it again, but I bought a very small size. So I think it was probably nine tenths. It was like everything I had, I cut it. Everything I had, I cut it. It was just left like very minimal, like the first entry. But my mental stop now was below here below here and it's not an excuse on voice uh, my internet actually disconnected so I added back very small size um, and the internet disconnected and it washed um, but I j quickly jumped on my phone and I could have cut it here and I didn't um, I didn't because I was in a small size and I was like, oh, look, it's doing another trap or it could potentially push higher because it never broke the high of the day. The odds of it doing this and not breaking the high of the day, it, it, most of the times it does. But the point is this trade here, to put into perspective, this, all of this was literally break-even trade. Um, this was a profitable trade on the long, sorry, on the short. This here was a uh, four or five hour loss. So the whole day, I'm probably like negative three R, negative three R, maybe four or five, six, I don't know, I don't care. But this trade here is the one that messed me up. This. And this was the only time, if other times that I had, uh, so this time here, because I had a hard stop, it worked against me, and I missed like a 30-hour trade, and I guess here it worked, and here, um, this is what I'm upset about, this is what I need to control, and I think, I felt emotionally shattered to be honest at this point I felt shattered because I was very confident that this was going to go higher uh, I think I felt shattered because I went, went to long here missed it and then I fatigued my capital brain here and I missed this when I knew it was coming and the long was here was correct and it didn't work uh, so I disobeyed my rule and I paid the price. So this stock, I went from a negative five RR to negative, I added a 10 RR loss because when I added here 40 something, mm, what did I add? This is like a 38 something. So I added 38, 39. And I was thinking the risk would be 38. So I was risking a dollar. And then I stopped out at negative 6, negative 8. Yeah. So I lost about a 10 hour trade here. So this has happened to me before 
where I have a smaller size, what I call a fila. And this is the negative side of being a discretionary trader, where you're not concrete. And I don't mind that most of the times. So it's like I'm very, I'm very relatively loose. I let things go over and under. Not at the highest days I cut that, but here, especially with the stock that's like, does a lot of stop outs, I am chill with it. But the mental drainage is the reason why I took a one dollar risk. I think one dollar risk. So thirty nine. Oh yeah, a dollar risk to a nine dollar risk loss, which is really bad, which is really messed up. Um, I would like to think that it won't happen with the full size. I was in this, but I think I, like this was a one R. Because I was dealing with so much size, got in 12X, that size felt small. So this was a one R risk and then I stopped out here like a fish, bottom ticked. At that point anyway. And, uh, yeah. So I guess, what did I learn from this today? I learned that my thought process is correct a large portion of the times. Um, so I'll go verbally what I would write here. I don't want to do it because the video is too long, but you guys need to do that. So this is an educational stuff if this benefits you and, you know, you're not some amazing trader because I clearly I suck today but inshallah I'll be better I'll be better so what I usually do is write down note what did I do good my thought process was good I was thinking against my trade so at this point here when I was short I had a beautiful entry beautiful read on the tape I understood that I needed to be long so I had missed my cover. My cover was at 2961. So this was like 20 cents down here. Uh, it technically could have been, I thought about 30, 3003 or something, 3011. But then I think, no, I think I did have, I think I, yeah, no. Yeah, I guess I put it, I, for whatever reason, I put it 29, 29. 61 whatever so my thought process was because I was short I was thinking of the opposite I was thinking well what is if somebody was to counter what would they say so this is the first time that it's pulled back the shorts are gonna cover the longs are gonna step in so be very tight with your risk don't mess around so what I read what I would write here is uh, the good here, I'll just do it. Good, um, good thought process. A good thought process. A long term mindset. Good entry. Um, glad I covered into. I'm doing this quickly. I'm sure anybody that's watching this, but most of the people have left. Anybody that's here is uh, here to learn anybody that's left so this is boring tedious so I'm, but I'm just gonna do it hopefully you guys benefit this if you do this every day your trading will change if you're a struggling trader this will help you so glad I covered into the washers um, happy I had a uh, scalp mindset on it I mean, I, my brain says, oh, you should write down that you should have longed, but I don't do that when I'm writing the goods. I have improvements. So here I had a mindset scalp on it, cover into the washers. Uh, and glad, so here's the other thing. I'm glad I had a full-size hard stop. I'm glad I had a full-size hard stop. So nothing is, so at this point here, I covered it all, and it was like one-eighth left, 
and I just left it here at a full size hard stop and I don't mind. And then I reshort it here and I had a full size hard stop here and I'm glad for that. And then I would order an improvement. So this would just be for this one. Um, use half hard stops. Use half size hard stop. Um, walk away when feeling triggered. So the other thing is that actually my account was supposed to stop me out at negative uh, eight RR loss, but it didn't liquidate. And again, this is my weakness. This is the demons that I deal with. I I should have stopped out on my um, daily max loss, which is at negative eight R. And my platform didn't stop, and I was just like, oh, okay. Um, and I think I had hit it. I think I was negative seven, negative eight. Um, <coughs> was I? I was negative six, but I think I had another position that might have been red. So I remember negative seven, negative eight. Or I was thinking here, and I was like, oh, <coughs> platform didn't stop me out. Weird. And then it worked. So another improvement is uh, make sure max daily loss at negative eight R is working. And then I would grade myself. And this is where you gotta be true to yourself. How would you grade it? I would grade this as, uh, so I would grade the whole trade. I don't use this, I use, I use my trade zero as uh, overall so I had two really good mindset. The losses I didn't mind. The last one I minded. I would say a C minus. So usually I would write it here. But if I, ha I had the full chart, I would have here. I would write goods, bads, and then here I would have. So this is personalized to me. So this is where I would have in here. I would have the good, the improvement, the grade. And then I would have here is something that I'm working on is my risk management. I'm telling you one thing, man. If you guys know what your weakness is, it's impossible. This is something, if you guys have a feedback on this, I would love to hear it. Risk, good, uh, risk management. So every, every trade, uh, progress. So this is something that I constantly want to improve on. Uh, I don't have a good structure for this. But I write it you, usually. This is here, down here. Uh, progress, decent, but utilize more hard stops, even if they don't work against you. Even if they work, even if they don't work, or against you. Uh, Make sure daily loss is there, daily max loss is there, and then I would grade my risk management grade. Uh, I mean, I did a really good job at the long. I would give this a C minus as well. They're not usually the same, but okay. <sighs> Recapping. This is the short. Stopped out here. Wash. Hard stop here would have been nice. This was a half hard stop, I believe. It was nice. Um, this here was hard stop was nice. Short. This is a short. 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 Break even. Nice. Short. Short. I think this would have been break even. It's not a full size. So this was like I always carry a little bit. So I think I probably had some here. I don't know. This was break even a little bit more. Um, I don't regret it. Long. I don't regret this. I don't regret this because this would have been a negative 30 RR. Sorry. Plus 20, 30 RR. This, even at this point, honestly. So this here, I had a 50 cent risk. And I had gotten $43 versus 34 
so this was, and I was hella size. So this, at at a point, this probably was like. Uh, let's ver let's think about the math completely. Thirty. Four fifty thirty. So thirty four. I remember I lumped thirty four here. Thirty four or four. No, this was a dollar. So this here was nine dollars. At this only, if I just do this. This would have been a 10R. With this, it probably would have been like 4, 5, 6R. Quote unquote, if I had top ticked it here and sold it. Um, yeah, this this was a, this would have been a good, no, this was double choke. For sure, this would have been a 15, 20R into the money. Um, break even. This was a bad trade. Okay. Uh, summary. I liked verbalizing my thought process, saying it out loud, that helped me, that this is long from here, even though I was short, and then I like this idea that, look, it's weakening, there's wicks, bush wash here, short, with hard stop, I liked all of that, an improvement here would have been to actually um, I remember in hindsight, I didn't want to risk this. I wanted to risk this. And I think that's probably, no, I guess I risked that. Oh, I got slippage. I probably risked this, yeah. I risked 36, 20. And they stopped in the same way, I, whatever. Mm, it's good. Good thought process, good, good, good. Even though they're retrades. Uh, red trades, good, good, bad. Yeah. Uh, use half hard stops. Um, whenever you have a plan, try to see the opposite side. This is how I was able to dictate that I should be in scalp mode and I should be long off of 28. Yeah. I was actually thinking about long off 28, 29. Yeah, I was actually going to long off 28. That's why I remember. I was going to long off 28 because this is where everybody got stuck. At 28, 29. Yeah. That's why I didn't, that's why I didn't actually um, go long. But then I stuck short, which is what I weird. Yeah, this is the... Uh, this is it. This is really good to do this more often. Add to a winner and make sure you have a hard stop at break even below. And for if you're heavy size, just take all of it off. Always have a hard stop. Hard stop helped. Didn't help, didn't help, didn't help. But at the time, look at it this way. This here, all of this was four to six R R loss and they were bad trades but it was good because it could have been really out of hand like if i didn't stop out here this could have been i could have gotten emotional this would have been like a 20 30 R R loss but i nibbled here nibbled nibbled here it was small size small size everywhere yeah um up until these points. Uh, I got stopped out here and then I actually went full size. Yeah. So stopped out here and then I went full size or more size. And then this was the, and this is what this was, I think. Yeah. So this is uh, the important one. This is where I was like, okay, let's get more shares, but be very tight with the risk or add to a winner. This worked. Okay. Add to a winner. And cut break even. And this added here, break even. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's how I lost 15 to 20 R, and that's how you guys got a long video. I apologize. Uh, if you've made it this far, that means you enjoyed it. Click like, click subscribe, put the notification on. Anytime you have questions, put it in the comments. As soon as I post it, uh, I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.
that you guys what 